beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is Mansa queen if this is your first time here you're welcome how y'all doing um i hope y'all doing well i'm doing good by the way today's recipe is a special and very common african street food known as akara i believe a lot of people call it akara akara is made from beans and it just uses simple ingredients and today i'm going to be showing you how we make it in the gambia and how we like to enjoy it so if you would like to see how i make my akara also known as beans fritters keep watching So to make your akara, you need some beans and we like to use black eye peas. So that's what I'm using today. And for this batch, I ended up using five cups. It was a lot of akara. I was so tired, <laughs> but it was all worth it because I had breakfast for a couple of days and I also got to share with my brother. First, I like to just pick out the beans and see if there's any bad ones pick those out and then i wash it um first i just put water over it because you want to soak it the beans is so dry and you want these beans to get up as really soft as possible so we're going to soak it to make the peeling process a little easier so here it is i'm going to let it sit for at least five six hours so normally when i'm doing akara um, for saturday mornings i like to soak it overnight so i did not show you guys how i peel it but basically what i do is i put it in my blender and put a lot of water and then put it on pulse so just pulse it for like a few seconds at a time and just let the water and the beans just be all over the place then that takes out most of um, the peel and then i just strain it out and that's how i do it it's a lot easier than pick, trying to do it one at a time now let's move into the sauce. In Gambia, we like to enjoy our akara with some bread and some sauce. And to make that, um, I only use onions and peppers. It's so easy, just onions and hot peppers. And I like to use the red onion, which has a lot of body, and the yellow onions, which has some sweetness to it. Then I just want to blend my hot peppers and the onions. I put it on pulse so that I can just get a rough consistency. You don't want to juice it. And you can choose to add tomatoes if you wish. I personally don't add any tomatoes to my akara sauce. So now I'm just going to put it over an empty pot. If you guys have never tried cooking your akara sauce this way, please do give it a try. Just put it in an empty pot and just let it come to a boil and let the water dry out of the mix because what i'm trying to achieve here is that i want it to be well fried if i put the oil first and then put the onions in it the blended onions it's going to bring out so much water it's going to end up just steaming it instead of frying it so first i'm going to get out all the excess moisture in it then i'll add the oil so as you can see right here it's already bringing out a lot of water i'm just going to keep boiling it until it gets a little dry then I would add the oil and then it will start frying properly now it's time to blend our beans and I'm just putting it in my blender and you don't want to add a lot of water you need as little water as possible just to get your blender going so I'm just going to add a splash of water and then grind it. I want it to be as smooth as possible in the blender. Let's check on our onions and as you can see it's looking pretty good right now. It's not bringing out any more moisture. Now I'm going to add my oil. So I stir it and cover it up, cook it on low heat. Now I'm checking on it and it's looking good. I need to just add a few spices to it and all I'm adding is some crushed Maggie cubes, just a little. You can choose to add some salt, that's fine. So since I don't use any tomatoes, I like to add some chili powder and this is more 
for that flavor and also give it a little more color because I'm trying to get like a dark brown color. This sauce has been um, frying for about a good 10 minutes right now and it smells so good and I'm just adding a little paprika and this is more for the color as well and I just stir it and keep cooking it on um, low heat and it's all done all the oil has floated to the top I taste it for salt and everything is good I'm just gonna put it on the side and move on to my beans So this is what the blended beans looks like and that's the consistency It's really thick as you can see but it is not ready to be fried if you fry your Akara at this point you're gonna have soggy and oily akara. You need it to be very fluffy So back home we would put it in a mortar and bit it with a pestle until it foams up That's how you get the fluffy consistency but first, I'm going to add some salt, and that's all I'm using to season my akara. And some people like to add some diced onions and some hot peppers, but I'm just keeping it simple. And since I don't have a mortar and a pestle big enough to do this, I'm going to be using my KitchenAid stand mixer today. Yes, guys. You can use your hand mixer, but because my batter is a lot, because I use five cups of beans, it's easier for me. To use my stand mixer and this you just want to use the whisk palette attachment and what this is gonna do is incorporate enough air to get it airy and you will get the fluffy occur trust me it's gonna help you a lot and it's a lot easier it's stress-free because this used to be my headache making a car back home but this method right here is a lifesaver Especially if you're making a big batch for a lot of people, use your mixer. So I've been beating my Benz mixture for about 10 minutes and you can see that there's a change in the consistency. It's looking more airy and you can see some bubbles and that's exactly what you want. Now I'm going to put some oil in a skillet and to test if it's hot enough I'll put in a wooden skewer and if it bubbles then it's right so as you can see it's not bubbling so my oil is not hot enough I wait it till it's hot enough and it's ready to fry and all I'm doing is just scooping the batter with a spoon and just dropping it into the hot oil this is what you want to see your oil is right when your akara floats right back to the top when you put it in the hot oil. That's when you know you're gonna get fluffy acara and it's not gonna soak up all the oil. And by the way, you wanna fry your acara on um, medium to high heat and it also depends on the thickness of the pan that you're using. You don't want it to be really hot because the middle part is not going to get cooked but you don't want it to be too low because it's going to soak up the oil so your temperature has to be just right and as you can see I flipped it around and both sides are now looking golden brown and it's ready to come out I put just put it over um, a paper towel so that it can drain any excess oil in it and I just continue beating the batter because it's been setting while I was frying the other batch. So I keep beating it for another two, three minutes to incorporate more air. And then I keep frying. That's what I do. Repeat the whole process until all my batter is fried. You guys, I look forward to buying bread and akara every morning. <laughs> when I just started working right out of college. I so look forward to that breakfast. It was motivation to go to work. It is so good and it's so common. You could find it almost in every corner where they sell street food. And it's just so delicious. Now I'm frying my last batch and it's done. Just look at that. <laughs> Guys, this sauce is life. It's so tasty and good and just simple. You can just eat the akara as is, but let me show you how we eat it in the Gambian. This is the type of bread I like to eat with my akara, and I get it from Walmart because it reminds me so much of tapalapa. If you know, you know. <laughs> 
So I put it in my toaster, toaster oven, get it nice and crispy. Then I put my sauce on it, and I'm not stingy with that sauce, honey. I put a lot of sauce on that baby. Then you just wanna layer it with the acara right on top of the sauce and cover it up to form a sandwich. And guys, mm, mm, mm. Now the taste test is here. Y'all not getting away from that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. I really, really, really love this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you do give this a try. And until I see you in my next one, stay safe. Bye, I love you all. Thank you.